Arena. I want to see how much of a difference that makes. Everything seemingly happening over here in spawn. Hoodie's going to try and catch them out as they burst through the barrier orb. And he goes down himself. Walls being funneled in, trying to move people, corral them into the right position for the taking. But at the moment, A site is covered. And the spike is going to get planted in by Na'Vi. So they are going to hold off against the short cloud moving on in. Looks for the early shots, finds a very solid pick over on David P. Falls back to the team. Doesn't want to give ground, they shut the door. Force the sound cues to come through. At the moment, Vodafone Giants looking pretty shaky on this retake to start off, but it's still a pistol round. Anything can happen. So they dash on in. Fidinho first up to bat into the cloud burst with the tailwind. As cloud finds yet another. They only find one and two fall. Now it's just Meadow on this cipher to try and challenge. Will find Arch. 73 HP and the time is ticking away, but the timer would bound for it. Meadow a little bit slow on that swing, but oh! The spray through the dark cover finds what they're looking for. Arch now beat. for the first phase. David P is there. Corner is checked, but David P better on the day. And SSK is going to fall. Three players now standing for Na'Vi. Vodafone Giants with 30 seconds left. Looking good on this defense to come back after the bonus. I mean, there isn't really a, a direct route in that's obvious here for Na'Vi to take. Especially not now that Dinks has been brought down. Early recon dart out. Doesn't actually see anything. I don't know if SSK is going to know that David P is right around the corner. He can get one of them, but Ambi's there to trade. And that wasn't what Na'Vi were looking for as Vodafone continued to clean up. And there's just two players. as well. These are the same two players, by the way, who survived out the last round. Everybody else, like, losing those weapons, losing that money for the team. He gets the kill, but he can't quite land the second one onto Fatinho. He's Cloud on his own. He can collect the spike. But again, it's all about the face checking here. Moving for more. Fatinho around the corner. Holds his nerve. Gets the headshot. Fatinho. Oh, this is, this is bold. Holding the corner. Gets the shot. Arch goes down. And without their Sage, they will have no healing. They've been moving on with it as well. The flank coming through. And they're checking the angle. The Cosmic Divide's there looking for the retake. Dino is scouted out. Perhaps they have a read on that one, but goodness me. Na'Vi going to be unhappy to have that flank taken down. Now three players moving in from A main. Trying to swing on it. The Aldrone's there. Cloud holding towards the winery. And he's just going to get scouted out as well. Pushed out of the corner and taken down by the Shock Dart. It's only two players left. SSK and Dinks trying to hold it. Fatinho up close and personal. End of the barrel down his throat. Gonna blow him out. And we'll start to fall on. It's been in check. They haven't tried to control it. They've just sort of been trying to squeeze out the end of the toothpaste. And it hasn't really come up smelling a mint just yet. Na'Vi able to go one for one so far on the trade. But Meadow holds face. Holds face against the second two. Arch finally taken down, but the damage is you done. Two players standing. The res is invested here. Na'Vi don't want to let it go. Patino nearly has the flick shot there. Always on the ball. This guy with an operator on the jet is just nutty. And that's what you want to see from Ascent. The jet. Spike planted. Been healed up as well by Hoodie, so he's going to be coming into this next fight nice and strong. These players, Na'Vi, have got to look at all these different angles with Cloud removed. That also makes it so much easier for Vodafone to clear up from these players in mid to go and recollect it. Now you've got an engagement occurring over on A main. Both of them happen. Moving any further, Vitinha refaces onto the corner and misses the shot. Actually goes down to the spray, but Hoodie's there for the backup. Spike That's down, the spike. 14 seconds left. Drops the Leer and SSK will be able to finally get some frags on the board. Hoodie. Not going to be able to stop that one going in, but out comes the Hunter's Fury. There comes the tags. Needs to try and tag it towards the spike going down, but doesn't actually manage to land any damage. Two versus three. With the off angle held by Cloud. I wonder if they're going to check the angle. No. David. Uh, it's not the first time that we've seen a recon dart be missed, but Cloud gets the kill onto Anvi. Leaving just Meadow here, John. There's not too much more to do. Trying to hold for those pushes as well. Tagging the spike yet again. And that's sort of some economic uh, strength, but if you're going to lose players like to a sneaky position from David P, it might be a little bit harder. Meadows there finds one more. And Hoodie gets yet another two now left standing. Coming in all Na'Vi. They try and move all the way up to site. They have got there, but they're trapped underneath. 
And they are completely surrounded. There's no way. There's no way they get out of this. They drop down and Ambi finds one. Up top it stinks towards heaven, but... Not really. It's not, it's not going to be a 13 and 0, that much we can be certain of. Moving forwards, David P gets caught, and that's a good start for Narviant. Oh, he spotted an ankle there, and SSK actually finds Meadow. That's two picks now on the round. Patino, unhappy about it. We'll try and get some frags back into the round. The spike getting planted, not going to be stopped there. Now five players for Na'Vi in a post-plant. They have got the Empress, nothing to really control it. The res is available, but I think... Vodafone Giants might just want to fall back and regroup given the strength of the displaying on the defense for the Vodafone Giants. If Patino gets a pick, that might just be enough. Able to find one. Giants and they will be allowed in. Hoodie getting scanned out. Needs to slow it. David P's there as well. A lot of damage from the shock dart. SSK finds David P. Confirms that kill. As Dinks gets it on the crossfire. 12 seconds left and they need to be worried about Hoodie. Just needs to slow them down just a little bit. Only one kill found. Now with six seconds left on the clock, they're able to get back in and get that spike planted. The ankles are spotted again. Fancy footwork, not going to help you there. SSK on the triple. He falls on back. I, I feel like this is again just going to be looking to be an economic decision. Looking for exit frags. Trying to limit Na'Vi's economy a little bit more than it already was. But that's not going to be effective. Arch nails it. Yeah, I mean... Whilst the Vodafone Giants try and flood for the positions to hold, they're going to try and take control. But those cyber cages, so brutal, and look at that trap wire, so oppressive on the defense coming through from the Vodafone Giants. They find two picks, and all of a sudden, RV, that was their main game plan here. Oh, nice kill there from SSK, who really has been showing up more in these last couple of rounds here in A main with him. All three of them. All three of them. Okay. I can't count, John. Goodness me. All right, fair enough. But Arch is just going to be checking the angle nonetheless. They have three. One of those crosshairs was trained on the right position at the right time. SSK finds another. This is what they brought Rainer to the mix for. This is what they were looking for. Five and six. And they want to put that six up on the board for them. Try and equalize. Two players still standing. Cloudburst over towards main, controlling these lines. Last player standing. Trying to get those peaks with Cloudspot. And be. And they know exactly where Patino is playing. They have his number to the T and here if they do try to pass in through the A site and especially consider that tree is being occupied by these defenders that's going to get smoked off but it doesn't stop Dings from getting a kill moving up towards the A site now swelled on over the Vodafone Giants getting the plant on in retake with five there's a flank to worry about but David P's very far away from this one all five players for Na'Vi looking close for the retake Coutinho taken down through the dark cover there Meadow trying to hold around the side to take care of the darts and actually David P dealt with on the flank as well now it's just Hoodie and Meadow and now it's just Meadow but he's not going to be able to get too much more done Na'Vi with an excellent fast retake there these Vodafone players do because you can see the way they're pushing here on mid the first kill goes to SSK I don't think David P was expecting to see him but Patino was there to trade looks like Vodafone have pretty much made their way onto this B site left. they just got to deal with Arch going to try and control it there. Arch is going to hold strong for one, but not for more. And now it's a Spectre and a Bulldog against two Spectres. The, pl the plant going to be coming in as well. Killjoy and the Astra both playing from the same position. Killjoy utility all the way over on A. So they're down just that little bit. Two shock darts available for Ambi as well. So post plant probably a little bit stronger here for the Vodafone Giants. Setting up for the retake. Cage trigger. Move on through. They even have a cyber cage to invest here. It's going to slow things down. In comes the recon bolt. They're trying to push in as two. Trying to swing on the corner. Good spray. from Ambi nails two headshots. Oh, he's chopped a bit. They do play this slow encroaching movement. Yeah. Gravity Wells going to hold Hoodie back a little bit. They managed to get some intel up towards Fruit Market. But you can see the Vodafone now. They're actually turning their attentions over towards A. SSK's kind of cornered here. We'll be able to take down Fatinho though, and that's the knife going down with it. Two more kills come on through, but Arch able to trade, taken out, and now it's three versus two. Vodafone Giants with three in the post plot. Bot coming back. And they're coming up against Dinks and Cloud, the Sober and the Killjoy. No lockdown, so those retakes not going to come on through. Cloud looks for shots, finds it towards main, evens up the numbers. Takes us back to two and two. Dinks playing from the door for Na'Vi, able to spot Ambi as well. And now David P left wondering what the hell happened to his team. 
Not too long left to go. They haven't really got control of A main right now, and there's no real way they can block it. A really solid position for David P. If there's one way he's going to do it, it's going to be from there, but it's traded off, and the time should be just right for Dinks to be able to get this defuse. Yeah. Spike getting planted. In comes the retake. And there's the Hunter's Fury to try and dissuade that one from going through. It will Spike stop down. Uh, the plant there as well as get a kill actually over towards Hoodie. So they're not going to give up the ghost on that. And they're going to try and put the... Uh, oh no! Goodness me, every ult's getting thrown at the wall to see what sticks here. The Killjoy dropping it and there goes the Spike. Two kills for Fatinho up on that jet. Three versus three now. The lockdown has timed out. Spike did get planted. It's fairly open towards a main. Those stars need to be good. And underneath, it's Meadow in Hell. As Dino pushes through with the judge. There we go. Looking for more. Swings out wide. Gets the range, but can't quite land the spray. The shot's not there. And Vodafone Giants... To provide the overwatch. Spike planted. Now into the post plant. No kills going through just yet. Only a tickle of damage towards Ambi. We're getting spotted out. Everything being felt either way. But it's just not going to work yet. And the retake just well, slowing down for Na'Vi. They block off a main. And I think I kind of kind of like this one. They have control over a position that's been historically pretty hard for them to deal with on these pushes. But Vodafone Giants don't let it slip. Meadow with two and a third as well. They hold out. The crossfire is strong. And Vodafone Giants... Ne the sort of player you want to invest into. But it's rest almost immediately. Not going to get traded off either. Vodafone Giants find SSK. And yet again, they're going to lose a player. Dinks able to trade it off. Now it's four versus four. Vodafone Giants move over towards the A. Try and drop down towards Dino, who's holding. Spots the shots and gets one. Hoodie able to trade it, but Dinks is there. Further deeper into hell and gets a third on the round. Flicks for another one, but it can't quite come off. Coutinho now with the spike. 25 seconds to play with. Needs another pick here, but can't quite get it done. Make their engagement. 30 seconds left. We'll be starting to push on through, through the cyber cage. And RV find two to kick things off. Looking for another, but Meadow shuts it down. SSK trades off. And now two players left. Four Vodafone Giants. Meadow not done. Looking for more. Controls those sight lines, but they don't have the spike. They've only got 12 seconds. It's all onto Meadow. Controlling the high ground as well. Tries to fake for the spike plant. There comes the Hunter's Fury, and it's going to delay things even further. They don't have time. They need to stick it. There's just not enough. And the Vodafone Giants are going to let it slip. Meadow with a 4k on the round, but it is not enough. Na'Vi. Oh, I was going to say, <laughs> you played a little bit close to the wire. But in comes the Hunter's Fury. They invest it early. Tactical timeout. Strats discussed. And they're going to clear out the site, move through. But the first kill goes the way of SSK. That's not what they wanted to see. Patinho evens the scoreline. Moves in with the knives and can't quite get it done. Another two, a third as well. Arch able to rack them up. And Na'Vi shut down. Wow. Honestly insane. In comes the lockdown and they're holding out B. Move forwards into this? Are you, are you crazy? The Vodafone Giants are uh, going to try and take out the lockdown and it's not going to get destroyed. Not yet. Oh, finally able to swing on it and Hody gets a kill. But 13 seconds and Na'Vi find two. Na'Vi staying alive as SSK lands the shot. Eight seconds and counting. Now two versus two, but is there time? Five seconds and ticking. You need to nail it. And with that final kill, that's all they needed to do. Cloud racks up a third for good style. And it is 12 and 12. It's going to overtime. <laughs> Na <laughs> Na'Vi... Pushing up through mid, not looking the right way, though. Oh, this is brutal. If he swings at the right time, oh, doesn't quite get the shots. Looks at the spray. The lineup's no. good. Hoodie with two. They knew he was there, and they still couldn't do anything about it. One Only enemy. one left, and it's a triple kill. Five one down, versus B. three. Vodafone Giants hold out on B on their defense. David P with the last one, and 13 and 12. <laughs> Match point. And six bullets. Oh, my God. All right. Okay. Very quickly get in position to move into B. Harvey oh, tried the whole face, but Hoodie again, he's on fire. Vodafone Giants, they want to close it down here. Only one overtime for us, they say. 13 and 12. Looking for that 14th. Post plant, no ults. It's all on the gunplay. Utility, looking pretty barren, but SSK does have those tools. He's got the, the leers to try and get around the dismisses. See himself a little bit safer. They're going to know the presence, though. Check the corners. Lear invested. Crucial utility there. The Kilgo turret is down. Gonna get spotted out by the drone. Spraying out, controlling these corners, controlling these angles. But the time, it's ticking down. 
SSK tries to move forwards for Na'Vi, but he's getting slowed. Dinx finds one, tries to flick for the second spray. David B lands two, and the third... ...performance on Ascent. And they're able to get the game either way, but fast. Over to the A, getting this plant down. Fair enough, you know, it's freeze. I'm generally going to see a lot more retake uh, strategy coming in through, especially from a slower team like Na'Vi. And they are going to start to mount their retake. They've already lost a player, though. Meadow traded off. Vodafone Giants starting to fall. They are going to trade one, but it's just going nowhere near where they want it to go. And Na'Vi moving in. Ambi last to face, but there's three. He jumps around the corner and fights off way more than he can chew. Good. Two as well. Also, bear in mind that Vodafone have decided to go for something of a force here. SSK getting the first kill, though. He's carrying the Phantom the into this round. Seems to be the meta in this matchup. The force buy into the second round, but Na'Vi have a no part in it. They will take their lead from this one as a 4k from SSK to close it down. Really nice hold over. Double scan. Gonna be sick. Sort on out. Figure that one the other day when after I said seek. I was like, that's not the right. I said sort instead and he's gonna sort them right out. SSK trying to get a trade. Hoodie able to go one for one but Meadow gets the double double. As Cloud is traded off yet again. Three versus three now. Na'Vi. Looking to try and go for the retake. We'll be able to bounce off there. Look for the pressure on this post plant. But 12 seconds, 10 and counting. 10 seconds. Trying left. to get the damage on in. And Na'Vi now have some really strong angles. They stopped. Oh, they didn't manage to stop the plant. Just out in time. But that's a kill either way. And now Cloud can look for more. Flash out fully. And Hoodie evens it up yet again. Fatinho echoes in. And the post plant looking strong. But SSK is still riding high. And it's a 4K for SSK. Do they check SSK's position? I think they just took down the Aldrone there. One for one so far, and it's not ideal right now for Na'Vi to be playing in these spots. Dino able to escape from the purview of the bolt, but not from the Seekers. In the meantime, though, Na'Vi rally and cry. And then around the corner, the Vodafone Giants continue to frag. Goodness me. Even with these pistols, they're still pretty brutal. Hoodie. I mean, he closed out the last one with a cheeky little triple. And he wants more here. Arch might just come a cropper. Going for the double face. And Hoodie gets a triple as well here. Now it's just Dings got to deal with this post plant. And Chin with uh, not much information either. Not much life. Uh? Finally. <laughs> Away, sure. But the retakes, we've seen them from Na'Vi. They are strong today. Uh, uh, I've got your trail. But less strong. Fair enough. Yeah. And the Seeker's going to be coming out from Vodafone Giants. Cloud. Shut down one of them as they try to move on in. They need to get this retake. The kill from David P from behind, but the trades are coming in. Puts it in a two versus two. Dino with a 180. Skull clicker. That's going to be felt in the morning. Gets another one as well on the swivel. Picks up the Phantom and now it's just Meadow. Trying to pay play for this retake and they're not giving it away. Meadow tries. When a lot of these teams might not have faced each other, might not have come across these playstyles before, to be adaptable, that is the most important skill you can have. And adapt Navi have to the start of Breeze, certainly on the defense. You know, spots out too. Gets the bolt in as well, and the Hunter's Fury should be a kill there. Very little way to get out of that one. Cloud covers the cross, and that's the spike dropped as well. Still a player to worry about. The spike getting planted up close. It's Dinks around the corner. Spots Meadow. Na'Vi haven't taken a lick of damage there. Only 10 over towards SSK, but they're going to get revealed. It's going to get bolted out. Ambi, what can you do? The answer's nothing. SSK, Leah around the corner. We have seen that being defended by Cloud before, but he's over by B. So that's actually giving Giants a lot of space here. They get the opening kill. And they can actually surround the site a little better. Now Arch has to be on the swivel. Shuts the door as soon as it's opened there. Oh, gets caught right in the back as well. So unfortunate. David P. Trying to inflate that ultimate from the sidelines. But it is going to be denied for Arch to take that position and control left. it. Moving on in. There's not a lot of time though. And with four players only left for Vodafone Giants. They have to keep it on trucking. 20 seconds left now. And they're going to keep on racking up those frags. Cloud. Position. The Seekers are being sent out by the attackers to hunt out what they can. And with the door being open, means they're going to find Cloud pretty easily. Cloud versus what? I feel like they could have snuck around the corner and got a little bit further, but 
Blocks out the vision nonetheless, and they'll be just fine. Post plant already down. coming through, and obviously that Viper's Pit completely nullified. But Arch trying to force them over to the A, and looks like they didn't want to fight that either way. Are we going to go for this one? Sorry, uh, is, is the reset going to come through? I'm not entirely sure it would do, but Vodafone Giants, they want to stop anyone sneaking away past, uh, past the openings, and now three players stand. SSK, ever watchful. Here's the vent. We'll be able to clap back over towards David P. There's the recon bolt, and they'll know he's faded away around the corner, probably not crossing that open ground, so they can isolate his position. Excellent game awareness there. Towards the start, unfortunately, there's a player in the corner. Fortunately, David P checks it. SSK, gonna get taken down, and look at this, the speed at which they can execute off the back of those picks. I mean, we talk about how they play slow, but they play slow to find these openings, and when they find them, they really do burst on through, but unfortunately, Cloud is there to try and answer back. Hoodie, pushing up. To try and cut off some of these Na'Vi rotations. Has backup as well. Arch swings and Hoodie gets the better end of the deal. Through the wall, Hoodie gets another wall bang. Now they can start to move around the side. Two players are there. Dinks, the most recent to fall. Two players alive. And it's the full save. They want to save this operator. I mean, fair enough. You want to close it down. Oh dear, Hoodie with a triple. And now flash around the side. Dino. Not going to get affected by it, but there's the dog. Only the Guardian. Difficult to play up close. And Meadow shuts it down. No. So, you've got like one guy in the middle who's just normal. Yeah, Patino nails the first shot over onto Dinks. And SSK now breaching through. Looking for some more shots, but it won't happen. SSK will fall. Meadow traded. And Buddy as well, finding a double. Worry for Na'Vi here. In come the Hunter's Fury, out come the Seekers, Ambi gets the first over towards Dino. And they will be denied the presence on the site. The spike moving up. They don't have the Viper Pit just yet. David P, oh he misses the first, goes to the second and then picks up the first back. And the old switcheroo is going to work on out for him. Two players left standing for Na'Vi, you're worried about it. And that has come to pass. So we'll bring to bear those worries. and. Despite getting planted, now needs to be retaken. Cloud with the first shot. And Seek is actually invested here as well. We'll try and block some of the shots from the operator, but David P on the back lines, they'll know about it. There's a Seeker there. So they start to push on forwards with the Empress. There's a lot invested actually coming through. Cloud isn't controlling the angle, and it's a click all the way up through the bridge, through the tube. And the flash is out, trying to take control in a swell over A. Patino playing close, actually getting dropped fairly low there. SSK with the first frag over towards Meadow, looks for more and finds the head. Now at range, it's Dino as well to chime on in. And the Vodafone Giants, they're going to have to back off here. There's really not much more. Right, so who do you know that there's someone nearby? Gets SSK. He doesn't quite know where Arch is at the end. So yeah, Na'Vi, they put the first round of this half on the board. Open space, a lot of long sight lines. So even on these ecos can be effective. Na'Vi though, they're not going to slow down. Spike Dino taken down in the meantime on a flank. Actually, David P maybe be able to sneak on through. Spike does get picked up, but finally Na'Vi come back on in and even it. Just that little bit. A little off the top. The spike now being held in the hands of Arch for Na'Vi. Yet to move up to sight. They're playing it slow yet again. They have almost the entirety of the site. And yet, they bide their time. If they don't have the wall up, they're waiting to be able to put that one up because they can't hold all of these different lines of sight. There's finally the one that's going down. The owl drone coming in from Ambi is going to tag that out. Finally, the the wall does go up, but not before Arch can actually be killed. Oh goodness me, SSK, look at her. Maybe even go down here as well. The bulldog's good. They pick it up off a body. But maybe they were just staking that out, keeping that ground so that they could come back and swing on in. And that's exactly what they're going to start to do. SSK goes for one, but trade it off. Hoodie around the corner with the bulldog. Gets a dink, but it's not enough. Cloud down to 10. 30 seconds and left. they will start to get swung on themselves. Meadow able to move in. Spike get planted. one more frag. Cloud is low, so they need to be careful. Shock dot not going to tickle. Goes for the jump peak. Gets back to the corner. Now Fatinho able to swap out. Gets the Phantom on board at range as well. No head armor, so the one-shot headshots. Crucial there. 
Checking those angles, looking for shoulders, looking for anything that could give it away. Around the corner, he sees a knee, and Arch is going to fall. There's the dart, back into the cloudburst. Excellent use of cover there, but there's not too much time left in the day. Two players left standing, and it's Clouds, who's on a big flank. Able to hold it down, Meadow taps it on out, goes for the challenge, will find one. Looks for more around the side with the classic, but can't land the shot. And towards the Aldrone, gets bolted out as well. Out come the Seekers, the Empress is in. This is a lot of ults coming out through for Na'Vi. And they're trying to go through the wall as well, finds one, and Cloud's there for the backup. Excellent 2k on the crossfire. Team play from Na'Vi. Spike planted. There's not much doing there. Only the Sheriff in the hands of Ambi as well for the Vodafone Giants. Na'Vi looking to eke out a lead here. Remember Vodafone Giants, they have the advantage. Ambi gets himself an operator, so should be pretty chuffed with that. Yeah, I mean, probably just a handbag for Coutinho next round, but... Better than nothing, eh? Na'Vi, uh, yeah, relatively immune here. Got no reason to worry, necessarily, other than potentially David P. He could get an exit frag here if Cloud's not careful. Well, I suppose any of them, and they're all running up this way, but Cloud's just better. <laughs> well, in this circumstance, certainly winning out that trade. 5 HP. The number of times he's got a... Oh. <laughs> it's unfortunate. Six rounds now on their attack, and... Still yet to really have too much to say about it. Pietinho moves through. Meadow, though, takes the kill away. And actually, the knives don't get reset that time. Puts them away. I'll have to wait for it. Nate, Snipe, will not be able to land. Cloud lands the headshot instead. It's traded. The Na'Vi come out on top. Three versus three now. Overall and quicker on the draw. It's Cloud yet again. Starting to pop off. Seekers now invested after coming online. The spray downs are good and Cloud will finally fall to the snake by Ambi gets another. And now it's one versus two for Arch. We said he needed to step up a little bit more. Spots the Viper and will be able to shut down the Viper pit. Did get tapped. Oh, and the stop on the defuse there is crucial. Gives the game away the footsteps, but Arch steps up. Wondering when are they going to come be? Don't even have the Viper's pit to be holding on. They busted that one out in the last round. Cloud just nails two. Looks for a third. Meadow puts an end to it. But SSK is still going. And the spike looking to get planted now. Na'Vi, they want the map point here on Breeze. We talked about how both of these teams may be not super confident on this map, but for now, Na'Vi certainly sitting head and shoulders above. 7-11, to 11, really dicey scoreline to be sure. And with another kill going over, but Meadow racks up two more. 13 HP is not going to be... A All right. Hey, John. This might be the first three map best of three that we get to cast in the playoffs. Ooh. Ooh. Exciting. <laughs> no, it, I mean, it is exciting, especially because this was very much the map that coming into it, I thought, mm, well, they're going to start making their initiation here onto B, led by the Hawks. But as David Peace get that opening kill as he backs off into the site. I know exactly where Taken on down, two players already falling. Meadow doing so much work trying to keep this one going. I mean, I said maybe the Killjoy isn't the best pick, but the guy playing it is pretty good as well. You have to be worried. Two players now standing for Na'Vi, trying to boot their way up to the B site, but Dinks moving through. Three bullets left in the magazine, so need to land those headshots. Only 13 seconds. Slow for Na'Vi as ever, but... With just 12 left. seconds left, they will be starting to go for it. A lovely little headshot there coming through. Dino finds another. And now it's just Fatinho Has a vandal himself. Trying to move around the side. I think they know he's onto site. And now into all one versus one. Fatinho low and the spray goes. To be able to keep control of the main ramps. Dinks is moved by the paint shell. Blinded out by the paranoia. Fatinho swings and the Vodafone Giants with their mid control in the pistol. Have the ankles taken out. But they will get to A and the spike will get planted. Planted. Finally down. You've just got these last few players of Na'Vi who are trying to feed themselves in. Dino gets a kill, which is nice. It's going to help them reconvene at some point as they're so spread out here. Oh. There's the engagement on ramps. Goes the way of Cloud, and they're getting ever closer to actually moving on in. Oh. But Fatinho, he doesn't want that to happen. Player Traded off, though. Arch able to find another. And Fatinho is low. 14 HP. They know his location. They know... Playing up close, they've got the range of those sheriffs as well. First trade, it goes both ways, and Dino comes out on top, but Meadow shuts it down, and another found as well. Three kills against Na'Vi.
Meadow, Hoodie and David P standing tall. Spike moving back towards Garage though. Maybe just getting picked up and moving onto site across the wall before it fades. It will be safe for now. Cypher camera is going to get taken out. The spike gets planted. Spike planted. Once again, these last two players of Na'Vi separated, but that wasn't so much of a problem for them last time. Just giving a quick check to make sure they're not being flanked. There's a turret going out as well. Using what they can just to ensure that all of these corners are accounted for, and that means that they can both hop down together. Start to encroach. There's the first kill. Finds a second as well. One versus one versus one, and SSK able to clip left. The spike down towards mid, down towards Raman. B site getting peaked, but Dino's there with the judge, and there's no way you get it past that. Two kills on the trot. Lickety split, no trouble. Arch swings out on top of the wall as well and finds Ambi. There's another player there waiting. And David P. Because Giants have no choice but to really go this way. There's the first kill. There's the second. That's all it took for now. He didn't ever really get to use it. Now he actually... Oh, no. Are you sure about that one? Cloud is going to go down. Patino can't quite hold there with the pistol. The Sheriff not quite strong enough. Meadow as well. On the front of A, not having the best of times. And they still left the spike in Defender Spawn. Ambi finds another though, and again they find themselves in the numbers advantage with 38 seconds. As, well, actually the Lombard didn't go off, and now seconds. Dinks versus Meadow here. It goes the way of Dinks. Somewhat scrappy fight Play over yeah, ropes there. Down. Two versus two. Now, Na'Vi, they've got to prove how their retake's going to be here. So far, it's starting off pretty good. Three for Ambi on the round. Tailwind away. Dinks is low. It's dangerous already. Four on the round. And Ambi... They've got the Sage to worry about. Arch gets spotted out in ropes. And Hoodie able to deliver the mail. They are going to take control, but instead, they swing out. Go towards the vents. And drop down. A sight on the cards now. Killed your utilities there. And there's the neural theft as well. They'll know where the defense is. They can make their plan. Oh, a beautiful wall to stop Cloud from getting anything. Doug finds it. Nonetheless, Ambi goes down to it. It's a two for two trade. There's not a lot of time left. The spike yet to be planted. Six seconds and they finally are going to start that plant sequence going on through. Two players left on the retake. No idea how neither player spotted on that first flick. David P gets the better end of it. Cloud turns the corner into the dark cover and fades away. Tries to get out with this operator playing around the cosmic divide and we'll be able to find the kill onto David P. It's certainly not going to be before the, the spike actually gets... Right, though. They have to be worried about that. There's the showstopper to try and speed things up. But Meadow finds two for Vodafone Giants. With the retake lurking to try and put pressure on. Both players can sit at the back of the site, but Fatinho's holding strong arch trades, and Arch gets two as well. Breaks the trap wire. Dino goes down to Meadow in the meantime, and Arch now last standing. David P's flank finally come. Quiet, but that's a pretty direct threat to the gut of Ambi. The shots land. Arch able to find the first pick. Fatinho now pushing up in main. 30 seconds. Now playing the stars. Spray down has come through and Arch gets a second as well. Fast out with a blast pack. Dino gets one. Hoodie again continuing to rain down. Na'Vi looking at answer back here. 20 seconds on the clock. The spike down over in B-Heaven. And there's really nothing doing here for Vodafone Giants. They're trying to move through, but they're only going to be able to get a couple kills if that cloud left. finds yet another headshot in the game. And David P drops the dark cover. Trying to hold on to the gun. Get the spray at range, but it's traded off. SSK. Close. Moving on up, Ambi leads the charge with the last pack set his back as well from the teammate. Ambi with the knives out, swing. All those rotates and look at that, that's exactly what they'll do. David P moves in and caught with a knife out. Cloud will fall. It's going to rain on his parade as Dino tries to swing the same corner and meets the same fate. Meadow able to land those headshots. Ambi with the knives has one more but it gets reset and lands yet another. Triple kill on the round, the right click to seal the dip. The kill, Joy. They've tried to play her somewhere else but this time around... They're going to be caught lacking. Arch, though, sprays down Patino, and a big tool in that paint shell going to be denied there. Meadow trades it off. SSK is going to fall. And out comes the showstopper on the defense. Cloud trying to stymie the flow of players towards the site, but the spike already getting invested. Traded off one for one. Abby gets another, and David P doubles up towards the spawn. And now it's just Cloud who gets taken up. David P lurking again. Goodness me. Cloud pinned behind the Cloudburst. And Ambi will be able to get the best of him.
finds the first frag, the opener, Dino deadly with the judge. In these close range scenarios, Arch as well to back him up. There's the Cypher camera. Oh, they want to see an ankle, they want to see a toe. They're not stepping out, not one jot, trading back and forth again. Hoodie checks the angle, but this time Dino's ready and waiting. Drops back in, there's a teammate at his back as well, 32 HP. As Meadow finds one, two, now lines up for the last. SSK, last standing for the defense. Na'Vi. On their last legs in this round and in this half as well. It's eight and four, Voda. The underdogs of the region who've really impressed of late. That's pretty impressive there. SSK able to get one, two as well. Traded off though as Coutinho oh chimes in with a paint. Together. Uh, this is the first kill from Dink. The P to go for the post point retake, right? There's two defending players, but just four HP if you're Coutinho. One enemy remaining. Pretty low though, Last David P standing. from up on top will be able to find one dink. He's got a spectre in there. Whoa, okay, Cloud wasting no time in the round going down as Patino lines them up. David P with one as well. Only SSK able to answer. In the meantime, goodness me, I think that was protection from the robot there. Gonna be good as Ambi finds SSK. Dino. Last to go in cloud means they slow down a little bit but hoodie's in danger needs to be worried david p around the side as navi lose a player but two are on to back and it's traded evenly across it meadow goes slow and can't quite find that frag two players left now standing for the vodafone giants and navi a crucial round to find can't quite close it just now but the spike getting planted needs to be delayed will come out with the knives swinging is going to get planted goes up on high swings for it but can't quite get the kill there's a lot of openness over towards a but all right, the, the lockdown's going to be put down over in garage. It's not going to stop David P from getting it from Ooh. behind. He can't quite shut down the lockdown though. Not quite, and that's going to allow the B Heaven push to come through from the Spike Carrier, the Rays, and the Sage. But it's going to get spotted out in the crossfire. Spike now in control of the defense. Two players left standing, and only one for Navi. 14 seconds on the clock. It's a tall order, and there comes the showstopper to put an end to proceedings. It's going to be hard. David P up to face. Goes for the spray and at range. Arch goes down. Gets away. 36 HP, but the damage is done. Arch no longer in proceedings. Things is going to have to be careful as well, because if he pushes up too much here, then Ambi holding the operator is going to be a problem. Meanwhile, SSK trying to look around into Mel. There's that shot from Ambi that I was worried about. Defenders have really firm it. control here of both sites. They have to invest the Cosmic Divide, the attackers, to try and hold back some scrap of defense that they can. And even though they get one kill, there's another for SSK, but they keep being traded. Patino just answering from heaven, trying to play around this Cosmic Divide as well. Finally swings out, Cloud gets it. Ambi with the Operator against Cloud, the last standing for Na'Vi. They're down and out in terms of money. They're going to be destitute after this one. Ambi around the corner turns out the pistol and Ambi wins the breath for that entire round. Good lord. Rez being used on both sides. The showstopper invested from Na'Vi. Defensive push coming in from screens. Ugh. Ah, that was just so Great scary. Ambi straight up taken out. Narrowly misses that shot. He's going to change his position. Spike down. Oh, oh my huge god. Coutinho. Finds two, SSK swings to get the trade and the spike will go down, but the job has been done. Two players fall and it's even Stevens. No res is available, they were both used last time. David P has got the ult. Can try and gather some intel on positions. But they might try and move as a wrecking ball. They move down the ramps, two players trying to swing, only a sheriff in the hands of Hoodie. Cloud playing close, gets spotted and a headshot lands. Beautiful start for Vodafone Giants and they leave them with one. Dino goes down and it's Meadow to close it out.